Hi hey everyone, in this video I'm going to take you through how to make a pencil holder on Fusion 360 or a desk tidy. So first of all we're going to create a new design. We're going to go over here and we're going to start on a top facing view so that we can create a sketch on this top view here. We're going to click on it once. We're going to start off by making the base. So the base is a square or a rectangle making sure that our mouse lines up directly in the center there and we get that blue box we click once let go of our mouse and drag it out once we have it at a um, specific square doesn't matter about the length we'll change that afterwards we click again to finish it we're going to come up here this is a dimensioning tool so we are then going to click on that and click on our blue line here make sure it highlights blue click on it once and drag this up click again and it will highlight for you. This needs to be changed to 100 millimeters. Our dimensions tool is still highlighted. We're now going to come to the side. We're going to click, make sure it highlights blue, click once, drag it out and that also needs to be 100. This is our base. We're now going to finish this sketch. I'm going to use the panning tool here just to get us central. I'm going to right click I'm going to right click and click OK. I'm now going to right click on our square. I'm going to scroll down and it's got extrude. The width of our timber is about 12 millimeters. So we're going to make it 12 millimeters and we're going to click enter. When we come up the top here to a home view, you should now have a 3D base. What we are going to do now is we are going to build the little um, holder for our pencils. So we're going to come across going to create a sketch on the top of our base okay zoom in or out to make it fit so you can see now what we're making is also square drawing it square so we need to draw another square box on the inside here now again don't stress about getting it the right dimensions because we can change it afterwards so I've clicked once I've dragged it out and I'm clicking again to finish I'm now going to use the dimensions tool and I'm going to click on the top and drag it out. It needs to be 65 millimeters. And our side also needs to be 65 millimeters. What I'm then going to do is because this isn't square at the moment, I'm going to click on this line, the top, the top, and drag it out. And that needs to be 18 millimeters. And then click on the side, the side, and drag it up. And that also needs to be 18 millimeters. By eye now, our square should be central, should be in the middle of our base. What we are going to do before moving on is we're going to use this. This is the offsetting button. So it copies the selected sketch, okay, and it makes a another one, copies it at a specific distance. So I'm going to click on the offset button and we're going to click on this blue square in the middle here. Now, negative, watch what happens. Negative 12 takes it out bigger. If I remove the negative and do it 12, which is 12 millimeters, the thickness of our timber, click enter, and we now have a square in the middle. To know that it's worked, you should be able to highlight all three of them separately. We're now going to finish our sketch. We're going to highlight over our middle square here. We're going to right click and we're going to extrude it. It needs to be 100 millimeters tall. So we're going to click on 100 millimeters and hopefully when we click home view, it has worked. Beautiful. What you are now going to do is go around and fill it. So all of these edges, you can do as many as you like or as many as you kind of don't want, but clicking on those edges, all right? When we click on the filleting tool, I usually do a couple of millimeters. It's just a small bit to round off those edges there, okay? So you can go through and fill it, the edges, around the base, around the side, on the inside, whatever you like. Also, when clicking, this is on individual panels here, but when you right click, there is appearance. Click on appearance and up will pop a drop down box on the side here. What you can then do is you can scroll through and you can pick other miscellaneous wood, paint, plastic, stone, so you can end up with all of these effects and you can drag it on to either the whole 
or to individual panels. So I have got granite now on mine. Okay, so chamfer your edges, or sorry, fill at your edges, make sure the dimensions are proper, and then have a go changing the appearance. Hope this video helped you.